Building trust as a tradie business owner can be hard. And it's even harder if you don't have good reviews and testimonials on your website and on your social media. And it's one thing for you to talk about how well you solve your customers' problems, but the proof is in the pudding. And what's far more powerful is having your customers talk about how well you solve their problems. But the issue is that your customers aren't professional copywriters and testimonials can end up being long and they can be rambling and not actually telling a story that helps your business in the way it's intended. So you might be asking yourself, how do I know if the testimonials that I'm getting from my customers are amazing or if they leave a little to be desired? So we're going to unpack that today. So a good testimonial should talk directly to the problem that you have solved, how well you've solved it and how your customer's life is better or their pain points are overcome now that you've helped them solve this problem. And it should be focused on the transformation that you've achieved for your customer and the outcome. And I don't know about you, but I have definitely, you know, switched off or, you know, kind of unintentionally stopped reading many times when you go on somebody's website and there's these long rambling testimonials that actually don't tell me if you're going to be able to solve my problem. And if you think about it, testimonials are also known as social proof. And as customers, we're always going to see what other customers are saying about you before we buy. So think about when you buy something on Amazon, there's usually quite a number of options for like any one product that you might be looking at. And you can look at it and think, how the heck am I supposed to know which one of these is good and good quality and which one is actually not so good? So obviously we go and read the reviews. We, we look at what other people are saying because if somebody else is saying that the product is good and you see that enough times, it is social proof that, okay, this might actually be worth the purchase. Testimonials are basically written or recorded statements that support your level of credibility and your level of expertise. They also strengthen your reputation by expressing the trust that other people have in you and your business offer. And as we all know in the trade industry, word of mouth is really, really important for marketing and for attracting the customers that you want to work with, the customers that are most profitable for your business. And good reviews on testimonials can be repurposed in order to show a a voice of your happy customer on your website or on your social media. When your customers are leaving you a review, they are taking the time to tell you about their experience doing business with you. I'm sure we can all relate to the fear that someone might be about to leave you a bad review on Google, you know, whether it is justified or not. So you can see why it's so important to get compelling and clear testimonials, but not only this, but to ensure that the words that your customers are using are actually telling the right story and they're actually supporting the marketing message that you want to give for your business. And another thing is that it it is great if you're able to obtain both written and video testimonials. Having someone put pen to paper and say, I support this business and and this is my experience is one thing, but having them jump on a quick, you know, uh, video on their iPhone and record them actually saying it can be even stronger for your brand and the social proof that you are trustworthy, you are quality and, and you do provide a good experience. But, you know, most people are probably going to shy away from doing a video testimonial, but there absolutely will be people out there that are happy to do it um, and share that for you because they support the work that you do. Whether your customer is giving you a written testimonial or a video testimonial, having some guiding questions and a bit of a framework for what you actually ask them to talk about is going to be the difference between having an end result that actually moves your future clients closer to buying from you and makes people build trust with your business or having a a testimonial that essentially does suck and is rambling long and people just switch off and don't even read. 
So today I'm going to share with you our simple three question framework for obtaining a powerful testimonial that actually influences your future customers to engage your services. So you can use this framework either through a written or a video testimonial from your clients, and it's super simple and easy to understand for them too. You want this process to be easy because they're more likely to do it. After you've completed the work for a customer, have your customers give one sentence for each of these questions. Number one, describe the problem before you hired us. So you want them to explain what was the pain points that they had before you have come and done the work that you've done. So describing that problem might look like, you know, we the lighting was poor in our house because um, we needed to have some additional downlights put in to enable us to have a, a better environment to play with our kids. Or, you know, you want it to be as real as possible and, you know, talk about, the actual pain points that they had. And I'm going to give a full example at the end of this framework. So once they've described the problem, question number two is what did we do that exceeded your expectations when solving this problem? So you're asking them to describe what were they pleasantly surprised with? What did they feel that you did to go above and beyond when solving this problem? Question number three is to describe how life is better or describe how your pain points are reduced now that this work's been completed. So I'll just go through those questions again and then I'm going to give you an example. So question one is describe the problem before you hired us. What was life like then? Um, Question number two is what do we do that exceeded your expectations when in the process of solving this problem. And question number three is describe how life is better now that this work has been completed. Hopefully that's pretty simple. Um, And I will put this into the show notes um, and in the description so you can uh, easily refer back to it. But now I'm gonna give you an example. So I've just made up a fake company called Big Building Co. Um, And this is the testimonial answering those three questions that their customer has provided. So one, our home was feeling dated and we didn't have the space to host our friends for dinner, which is something that we love to do. Number two, Big Building Co. were incredible to deal with. They were so professional and they thought of everything. We knew exactly where we stood with them. And number three, Now we can entertain the way that we want to and we are proud to show off the amazing new space that has been created from our renovation. So I hope that that gives you a really good example of how it can be used in real life. But, you know, it is a really, really simple framework and it also makes the whole process of actually writing a testimonial so much easier for your customer, which means they're more likely to actually do it. Um, And something that you can do is to like speak to them on the phone or in person and say, hey, um, are you are you open to giving us a testimonial? Fantastic. I'm going to send you an email. There's going to be three simple questions. All you need to do is just reply back to the email answering those questions. The amount of people that actually take the time to do it because you've given them a simple framework will definitely increase, which means that not only are you getting more testimonials, but you're actually getting more of the testimonials that are actually going to help future clients think that, oh man, yep, they definitely can solve my problem. Testimonials are an extremely important part of the success of your business. They are an amazing tool that helps you to attract a deeper interest from your perspective and existing clients and will ultimately make you and your business increasingly more credible. So have powerful testimonials that actually move your potential customers closer to buying. Avoid testimonials that ramble and don't actually explain how you have helped solve your customers' problems. And if you do want to take it that one step further and get the video testimonials from your clients, then this framework makes it way less confronting and much easier for your customers to actually sit down and plan out what they want to say and record it on their phone. 
in the video production side of the business, that is something that we do do a lot of is um, when we go out to do a shoot at a client's house, maybe it's like the end result. We're showcasing the final work of like a renovation or, uh, you know, a new driveway or something, then we will often say, you know, do you want us to get a video testimonial while we're here um, and just repurpose some extra content from that shoot? So if you are getting professional content created, that is another way that you can do it. And having a professional like myself who can actually sit down with your client and knows how to make them feel comfortable in the recording process can also be a really great way to get high quality testimonials from your business. And at the end of the day, credibility is essential to the success of your business and strategic and intelligent use of testimonials can go such a long way. Um, And the more online visibility and stronger reputation that you've got and continue to maintain, the stronger that your business is going to become over time. So today's takeaway is to contact at least two clients and ask them if they would be willing to answer the three short questions about their experience that can be used as a testimonial for your business. If you ever feel stuck knowing what to post on social media for your tradie business, then you can download our free PDF, which has 16 content ideas for construction through the link in the show notes. Otherwise, thanks for listening and don't forget to hit subscribe wherever you get your podcasts so you don't miss an episode. But more importantly, share it with your tradie business mates because this really makes a difference and enables us to help as many people as possible. Otherwise, here's to building trust and being remembered and we'll catch you in the next episode.